Hello people and welcome to a tutorial on how to create a calculator in Visual Basic. So first thing we're going to do is start a new form and going to name this form, make that a little bit bigger. So I'm going to name this form FRN, FRM Calculator. From here we can go ahead and add a text box and make that multi-lined just for visual effects and then the only button we're going to add for now is the equals button so we'll call this btn equals and then we'll make that the equal sign because we can add all of the other numbers later so the first thing we're going to do is we want to dim oh wait wait, wait hold up Actually, I have to name this text box just so it doesn't get confusing. TXT Cal. So we're going to dim num1 as string. And I'll explain why it's string and not an integer in a second. And then we're going to also dim num2 as string. And then from here, we can say num1 is equal to txt cal dot text dot split and then at the split the number one so the first number comes before the first space so we're going to say this is a space and then we're going to set that at zero so we know that number one has to come before the first space and then we are going to set num Two is equal to txtcal.txt.split, and we're going to put num2 after the second space. Alright, next thing we need is an operator. Operator is plus, minus, equals, divide, or multiply. So we're going to dim, dim op as string. And no, I don't want to update Java. So now we have our operator. And the operator is going to be txtcal.text.split. And we're going to put the operator after the first space. So now that we got that all set, we have to we have to um, make these two strings an integer. And how we do that is we can do we can do this I already had it because I didn't feel like typing it all out so we dim I as a double and it equals convert dot two double num one and then we can dim I two as a double and that not a double as a double equals convert dot two double and then we'll do num two Alright, so now uh, we have to declare what our operators are going to be. So if we so we can go ahead and say if op is equal to plus, then we want to take i, which remember is num1 but it's dimmed down to a vet, to an integer so it's no longer a string at this point it's now an integer so we're going to say i and hold on a second my uh, error list so i i don't like that error thing so i plus actually hold on first we have to display it right to do a dim let's do total as integer this will just be a placeholder variable for the total number. So then we can say total equals i plus i2. And then we'll say txtcal.txt equals total. So now if we go ahead and run this, and we say 1 plus 1 equals, it's 2. Now if I do something like 20. 32 plus 2 and I don't add the spaces it'll run into an error because remember we declared that it had to be after a space so 
Right now I'm going to pause this here and I'm just going to add all the buttons so you don't have to watch me adding all the buttons. So I'm just going to pause this and I'll add all the buttons and then tell you what to do from there. Alright, now I've added all my buttons and don't worry I haven't done anything else yet. Um, I want to show you guys, Just I just want to add the operators while you guys were watching just so you see what I did. I just copy, okay so we'll make this one plus and then we'll do minus and then multiply and then divide okay so let's extend this so from here what we need to do is we need to make all of these numbers uh, show up in the text box so we have to do uh, txtcal dot append text and then since this is the first one we'll do one and we'll copy that and we'll do two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. And actually, I forgot zero, and that could be. In that could be important, so let's just quickly add zero and then copy that, paste that, and zero. Okay, so now we have all of our numbers, so if we just run this and we do this, all the numbers will show up. But now for the operators, we have to do something slightly different because the way we worded our um, our code. So we actually have to do space plus space. And the reason we have to add those spaces is because remember up here we defined that num1 and num2 are after the spaces. So if there's no spaces, uh, Visual Basic won't know what to do because it's gonna search where the space is. I don't see any spaces so I can't do what you want me to. And then... Alright. And so now if we run our program, and we do 9 plus 1, hit equals 10. And then if we do 5 times 5, why didn't that work? Hold on a second, I don't think I, oh, that's right. Whoops, I didn't set all the others. So then to set this, we just have to do the same thing. Else if op equals minus, then... We just do minus, and we can just copy this. If it equals multiply, then we multiply. And then if it equals divide, then we divide. Now if we run this, and I do 5 times 5 equals 25. 25 times 2 equals 50. And this is pretty much the most basic way to uh, create a calculator. It is a fairly simple application, and yeah, I'll put the source code in the description of the video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.